Peggy 18. The whole audio direction and you can say the, the dramatic score part of the game, this is, it's been a very strong focus from the very beginning because we knew with a game that is so, you can say, open-ended as a Hitman game is, there's always, the player can always do whatever he wants, he can go any direction and kind of take on the game in any way that he wants. We have to have a very dynamic, uh, you can say, music system that supports a dramatic experience, no matter how you want to play the game. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. The inspirations for the Hitman Absolution game has definitely been the bigger uh, Hollywood uh, movie scores. We wanted to keep some some of the epicness uh, from the past installment of the Hitman franchise. And then we wanted to give it some added grit. So uh, we both have the polished Hollywood musical score and we have the darker, tense, aggressiveness. Uh and those two worlds, when they collide, it supports Hitman Absolution in its best. Get away now! One of the things that really inspired me with the music production was the fact that it was a very diverse setting, which meant that it needed some diverse music. We are working together with a very, very, uh, very good sound team here in, uh, in I.O. And they are, you know, they're really good at understanding how to fit every little bit of music element with the AI. So you obviously have a main score, but they are very capable at breaking that score down in different uh, tracks that are either very uh, ambient, uh, like the AI, or action-based or fast-paced tracks. And they really understand how to blend these seamlessly. The way we handle dialogue this time around uh, has been uh, quite different uh, compared to, to the other Hitman games in that we have had the opportunity to work with some, some really great voice talent from America. And instead of just doing a lot of ADR recordings, we were actually lucky enough to have them in the same room uh, while they were uh, recording the motion capture. We also recorded the, the actual voices. And that has brought a new level to our uh, believability in the dialogue and, and the overall storytelling for our game. This hot sauce is a big hit, huh? And I think the guys have been spiking their beers with it. Dialogue is the most important piece of audio in the game. It's not music, it's not sound effects. If, if you don't believe in the dialogue, and if it doesn't tell the story correctly, you, you don't have a game. For years, Diana Burnwood was my sole handler at the agency. She supplied information and secrecy, and I sold perfection. Together, we had trust.